Hey everybody, I am so excited. I have been waiting for this day for so long. The new Black Country New Road album is out and I'm unbelievably excited. Literally within the first like 12 hours of this album being out, everyone is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I've heard the singles, I will say I have heard the singles, but I have not heard anything else from the album and I wanted to do this video because I am personally just really, really excited for this. Ever since their first album, for the first time, I mean, I've been in love with them. That album is fantastic, like easily one of my favorite like albums to come out within the just last few years. So I mean, I have high hopes, but I, f I feel like I'm already going to like it because I like all of the singles and I'm just... I really like their style. I like their evolution. They're kind of going towards a more arcade fiery sound, so I'm I'm into it. But yeah, I just I'm so excited. I just also want to throw out that I have recorded another Elliot Smith reaction. I'm probably going to release that after this though because I want to get this one out first just cuz I'm so excited for it and it's going to be fun to edit and everything, but but yeah, let's do it. I'm so freaking excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. The first song is the intro. And I'm gonna let it go into Chaos Space Marine. So, let's do it, let's do it. Great song. Really, really good song. Okay, that song, that was the first single. And when I first heard it, I was like, eh, it's pretty good. I mean, I like it. But now it's had some time to sit with me and I really like it. I love just the ups and downs, the dynamics, the piano that's in there, just like the vocal style, all of it. It's just, it's so cool. I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. This this song lyrically just feels like a bunch of references to things. We got Billie Eilish, we got Though England Is Mine, Darling Will You Take My Metal Hand, it's cold, that's a cool line. Oh my god, it's so cool because I just realized it says a Concord will fly, and that's a, that's a reference to Concord, which is the next song. <laughs> In that song it also says that same line, that's pretty cool, I never knew that. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, of course I like it, it's great. Like, I, I love it way more now, as opposed to the first time I heard it. But yeah, still a fantastic song, a great way to just kick you into the album. All right, so the next two songs I have heard, like I said, I have heard the singles, but after that, you know, new experience, but we have Concord here, which I have heard, and I still really like, so let's let's give it another listen.
The way that song progresses and builds is so well done. It just has like such a nice just it's like a roller coaster and then you get to the very final drop, you know. It just it really does a good job at taking you on that journey. It just it, 6 minutes spent very well. I think this is definitely one of the better singles even though I like all of the singles. I actually shouldn't even say that because I like the other singles pretty much as much as this one as well. I love lyrically how Isaac just references so much random stuff. Or not, I, would, I wouldn't say random, but just kind of like in theme of what he's talking about. I don't know. Like he references Concord, we're old now, you wield a lightsaber, and led by the dark to our place on the table. That's cool. Like that's a reference, but it's integrated into the lyrics super well, and I really like that. And I heard you're on Atkins as well. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of obvious that the Concord is a representative of a relationship or someone he cares about. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know sometimes, but I feel like that's pretty clear. But yeah, I just like, oh, the way that song progresses is so good. It just, it flows so well. As you can tell, I like this band. <laughs> but yeah, all right. So next song is Bread Song. And you already don't care that I tried my best to hold you through the headset that you wear. Oh god, such a good melody. And yes, I was tempted. And I christened me lonely, I pretended to fall to. No one could doubt it, oh, I was still losing. That melody, I can't get over how good that is, that melody. Uh. Don't 
I mean, when I heard that when it first came out, I was blown away, and I'm still blown away now. It's so pretty. Who knew a song about bread could be that pretty? Like, come on. <laughs> okay, well, I just woke up, and you already don't care that I tried my best to hold you through the headset that you wear. As tight as I m may hold it over where the signal's good, there's no way to save your evening now through the little phone that could... Oh, my God, I... Ooh, it could be a representation for how people sometimes can get absorbed over their phones. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what I really like about Isaac's lyrics is that they give you a lot to think about, but they're and they're not overly serious. Like, you can tell he's kind of playing around with just, I mean, with the amount of references he throws in his lyrics and just his, like, vocal style with some parts and just everything like that. It's, he's just kind of having his own good time with the lyrics in a way. This song is really pretty and it's, you can tell it's emotional, but it's called The Bread Song, you know? Like, you wouldn't think a song called The Bread Song would be this pretty and emotional, but it is. So, it's just, it's really interesting to hear his progression with his lyrics in that way. So, yeah. Alright, this is the first song I haven't heard besides the intro. Like, the last three songs I've heard because they're singles, but this song I have not heard yet. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm super curious to see what this sounds like. The next song is Good Will Hunting. Did not expect that. You walk up on the raised edge, hands out for balance. Slipping you, almost grab mine, okay. but you find your feet. I just did not expect anything that happened in that song. What the hell? This song lyrically feels a lot more personal. I think this album lyrically is going for something more personal. Because for the first time felt very wacky and kind of lyrically all over the place. It felt really dark. Like I think that for the first time did. But here it feels a little more playful. Not only sonically but within his lyrics. I think that there's a lot more pop culture references, which I really like. I, I love that he does that. But also, it feels more personal. All these songs are kind of following the same theme in a way, just in different styles, I guess. And I, I don't know, because this one is definitely talking about a relationship again, but like 
there's like parts where he's wanting he's like thinking about the future but then he's talking about how you know she never texts me or whatever never text me nothing i love the way he says that line it's so funny to me never text me nothing Ooh, i just had a thought i could be wrong but I'm, I'm looking at the lyrics here and there's like quotation marks around each of the lines in the chorus so i wonder if that's like them going back and forth with each other in a way because she had Billie eilish style moving to berlin for a while for a little while that could be like the girl or the significant other and then trying to find something to hold on to the guy you know it, maybe maybe I, that could be cool if that's what it's going for but yeah okay very cool song that one confused the shit out of me when i first heard it but as it kept going i got really into it and it was really cool and i feel like that one's gonna sit well with me with time i feel like once i give that one more listens it's gonna click with me even more so i'm excited to do that the next song is called haldern 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 yeah <laughs> i'm enjoying the hell out of this so far I'm so oh, it's black country new road so much love for love to them <laughs> That song was incredible. Oh my god. That legit might be my favorite song so far. Oh my god. That beginning part, like, hit me so hard. Oh god, that was good. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez, that was good. Oh my. I have so many, like, oh, I just, the progression, the way everything, like, came in on those hits and it like it became kind of heavy for a second but then just dropped out i love just the the push and pull of the instruments there and the vocal lines were beautiful the lyrics oh god ignore the hole i've done it dug again it's only for the evening i never wanted you to see that much of the bodies down there beneath me you are the only one i've known who broke the world so quietly and turned your perfect hands to me and you ruptured every bone Damn. <laughs> There's only four verses to this song, but they stretch out through the entire song. Oh god, that was... <sighs> beautiful. Beautiful song. I am pr pretty much floored by that one. Holy shit. That, that's, a, that's an easy 10 to me. Let's keep going. <laughs> Next song is Mark's Theme. Seems to be an instrumental from the lyric. There's no lyrics. <laughs> 
That was pretty. Wow. Just for being an instrumental, that was that was cool. Looking at uh, the kind of description for this song, it says, because I didn't think of this as anything Mark's name, I didn't know, but this is apparently a tribute to Lewis's uncle who passed away from COVID. So that's really sweet to have on the album, I think. I think that's a very, very nice tribute. And I can kind of feel the somber sort of emotion put into just the instruments there but very very pretty that that's that's awesome I, I i can definitely appreciate that one okay we are on the last three songs again i have heard snow globes but the other two songs i haven't heard and they're the longest songs on the album so here we go the place where he inserted the blade is the next song let's let's do it let's do it Such a sucker for good piano.
god. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh. That was so good. That was so good. Oh my god, that was so good. Holy shit. So good. Jesus fuck. That was, oh my, I mean, I'm kind of in tears right now, like, <laughs> jeez, that ending part could have gone on forever, and I would have just fucking sucked it up, like, oh my god, everything about that song worked, everything, that's like, oh, jeez, that was so good. That was so, oh my god, that was so good. I am floored, I am absolutely floored. Oh god, the, the song is so like powerful. There's so much emotion. The dynamics, the, the backing vocals towards the end, the chorus, uh, just everything worked so well. Oh my god. I, okay, I, um, I just, I guess we just have to move on, like, to the next song. <laughs> okay. I, that, I think that's my favorite. I think that might be my favorite so far. Which is insane, considering that I loved this entire thing with my entire heart. Oh my god. <sighs> let's, let's keep going. I just can't get over how good that song was. Holy shit. I have heard Snow Globes. But I'm excited to listen to it again. It's a fantastic song. Let, let's just go. God. 
I can never figure out which one of my sing which one of the singles are my favorite because they're all so fucking good. Like every time I decide on a favorite, it just changes like the next day. I just oh god. A lot of people's complaint with snow globes is the drums and they get a little too out of hand. But for me, I just I don't know. It's just who does that, you know? It's so different. Like, no one just decides to freestyle over this really pretty song. But it works just because it's so, like, dynamic, just inclusive, and it just... I, I really think it makes the song, one, unique, and two, just really interesting. I'm a big fan of the drums, so that's how I feel about that. The, the, the actual song, like, outside of the drum part is just beautiful beyond belief. It is gorgeous. The vocals, the lyrics, just hit hard. Like, it really just has that feeling that just certain songs carry, and it, it just pushes that forward, and I love it. I love, 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 love that song. Yeah, I just, I mean, even the first time I heard it, like, I knew people were talking about it because they played it during live shows, even before the album was released, and people were saying it's really good, and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to hear it, and it, it's just amazing, so... Yeah. <laughs> and now we make it to Basketball Shoes, which is the closer on the album. And I have heard so much hype around this song. Even before the freaking song was released, they played the song live and everyone was saying it's really good. And it's like the whole snow globe thing I was just talking about, but like times two. Like I am incredibly excited to hear what this is. It's the longest song in the album. It's twelve and a half minutes. It's the closer. This album has been phenomenal. I so worth the wait. This is it's just incredible. But yeah, let's let's just go for it. Basketball shoes. <laughs> I have a really good feeling about this. to like one of the earlier songs talking about the phone.
Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. 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 Oh my god. I Fucking perfect. Oh my god. Ants from up there. That was it. Oh my fucking god. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this album satisfied every possible want that I could have. I... <laughs> I'm just gonna say right now that this album has a very, very good chance of being a 10. Like, I I gave for the first time a 10, and I still 100% stand by that, but like, this is also just on the same level, if not better, like, oh my god. And I never thought I'd say that, because for the first time, I've been like completely loved, like obsessed with for so long, just ever, ever since I first heard it last year, like, I've been just all over that shit, and now, like, they made an album potentially better, like, what the... <sighs> wow. I mean, Basketball Shoes, I... I think my reaction said it all. <laughs> that was as incredible of a closer as you could possibly have for an album like this. They really know how to fucking close an album. That just blew every expectation out of the water. Can I just go ahead and say this is my album of the year? Like... <laughs> I, okay, I need to, like, gather my thoughts for a second, like, okay, this album, from front to back, was an incredible experience. It really was. They said that they were gonna go into a more arcade fiery direction, and I'm like, cool, that's cool. But what's great about it is, yeah, you can hear the influence, yeah, you can, but it's still them, it's still Black Country New Road, it's not arcade fire, it's Black Country New Road. And that's what's so good about it. It it feels so genuine. It feels so just important. I don't know. Like all of these songs will have have so much impact. Like after every song, I'm like, this is this is incredible. Like this is just a staple for the genre. This is a staple for Black Country New Road. Like oh my god. I guess I fall into the category of one of those people that is just loving this band. And I do want to say something real quick. I think it was last week, um, it was announced that Isaac is leaving the band. Um, Isaac Wood is leaving Black Country New Road. And when I heard that news, I was absolutely devastated. But it seems like he's doing it for his own mental health reasons. Touring is a really hard thing. Writing an album like this is a really hard thing. And it's such an accomplishment. And in a way, this album does feel like a swan song. Or at least Basketball Shoes does, in a way. I feel like a swan song to Isaac. And I, I'm i just crossing my fingers and sending all of the good just wishes and luck and just best of luck to him and just everything he does in the future because what he has done with Black Country New Road alone has been just incredible and something that I think is gonna kind of just go down as... Just in music history, in a way. I don't know, this feels so monumental. I, I just... I know Isaac or Black Country Note isn't gonna see this, but I just wanna thank you for all of the good music you've put out for us and all of the struggles you've gone through with touring and just putting your 105% into everything you do. I just... <sighs> this was a phenomenal album, a beautiful album. Instrumentation, lyrics, performances, production, everything. Literally the best it could be. I usually have a section where I go to my final thoughts like down the road and I still will but I don't know if anything is gonna change because just if anything it's just gonna get better like this is something I'm just passionate for when I just hear like something that really inspires me 
Like, this is why I love music, because something like this happens and comes out and feels like such a monumental thing. I just want to, I just wish I could, like, tell all of Black Country Neuro just, like, thank you, you know? Because it, it truly does feel so special. But yeah, okay, I'm done ranting. I will put my final thoughts in the future, but just, this is everything I could have asked for and more. Fantastic album, and I'm so excited to continue to listen to this throughout my life, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna order the vinyl of this, I totally am, and I'm gonna hopefully make a vinyl collection video at some point, I've been meaning to, I just haven't gotten around to it. But just, <sighs> thank you Black Country New Road for this incredible album. All right, it's future me again, as always, at the end of the videos. <laughs> I will say, right now, it's a 10. This album's a 10. Ants From Up There is incredible. It's, I, I fucking, I can't. It's so good. It has been on repeat. Repeat. I have been listening to it over and over again. The so these songs are just so powerful, so unique. And just, it really does feel like they're giving a hundred and thousand percent of what they got into this thing. There's so much passion behind it. It's so impressive just on every front. I think some people's least favorite song on this album is Good Will Hunting, but I love that song. I think it's, the lyrics are kind of funny and all over the place, but I do really like that song. Basketball Shoes is fucking, what the hell is that song? That is like, bro, come on. <laughs> that song is incredible. Literally on another level. Like, I... <laughs> I think my personal favorite on this album is the place where he inserted inserted the blade. At least right now it is. It may change just because it, all the songs are so great on this thing. But that song is so powerful and just hits me right in the face. And just, I mean... I cried on video, like, it really just had an impact on me, and it still does. Haldern is another favorite, and I just, it's such a powerful, beautiful song. Like, seriously, one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. It's so sad, but it's just so powerful. It really just, it really hits me, and it just, it's a special song, it really is. All of the singles are still great. I love Concord, I love the Bread song, I love Chaos Space Marine, I love Snow Globes. Again, even with some of the lyrics being a little all over the place and kind of funny, I just think it works. I don't know, I like the, I like the writing style, even though some of it's kind of tongue-in-cheek and, I mean, all the pop culture references, the Billie Eilish style. <laughs> There's so much passion behind the song, and I, songs, and I think at the core, a lot of these songs are Isaac just kind of showing his mental picture in a way. I really don't see a reason why I wouldn't give this album a 10. I just, it's a special album, and it really does feel like a, a staple. It feels like an important album. It really feels like history's being made in a way. Again, I said this in the video, but I really want to say thank you to Black Country New Road for putting your 100% into this album. And thank you to Isaac for really giving us some incredible music. I could keep going. I really could. I could talk about everything I love about this album and why it's possibly one of the best albums I've heard in, since, like, The Glow Part 2. But this really feels like something special. And I'm just excited to keep listening to it for the rest of my life. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. And if you want to know my plans for the future, I have Elliot Smith and Animal Collective coming up for sure. I'm also thinking about doing Godspeed, You Black Emperor at some point, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. I just really want to say thank you again for all of the comments and just interesting conversations and support that you guys give me. It's really cool to see and it makes my day every time I see someone enjoy a video from me, you know. It makes me really want to keep doing this, so thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye